Oh, we're getting pulled here. <laughs> wow. If you stick around, yeah, there's something on here. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are at the shipwreck down in Ormond Beach and we got the tide coming up super high. I don't even know if we're going to be able to stay here very long. We've got another hour or more until high tide. I got some ladies joining me from our club. If you're a woman, you love to fish, doesn't matter where you're at, go to Facebook clubs or Facebook groups and look up the Fishing Girl Online Women's Fishing Club. We would love to have you join our club. Ladies from all over the country there. We're working to get pockets of ladies everywhere so you can find your fishing friends. So join our group and invite your friends. You can do meetups in your own area and that's what I wanna see happening everywhere so you don't have to fish alone anymore. But for now, let's get to fishing. Okay, I'm gonna walk this out a bit just because I need to get some distance. These waves are a little higher than I expected them to be. Oh wow, yeah. I can't, whoo, I can't go very far at all. Like I barely walked in here. Get it out as far as we can. We will not be putting the go fish cam out. We will not. That is not happening today. Because if it gets lost, I am not swimming in that to go find it. It's a good hit. It's been literally just a couple of minutes. Can't even see it coming in just because of the way the waves are. Maybe a blue fish? I don't know. We'll see what it is here in a second. Oh, it's a catfish. Go figure. All right, well, we'll get this guy off and throw it back out. Guy is out here fishing, and I know he's trying to get near the shipwreck, but I mean, come on, dude. He is getting pummeled by these waves. Looks like that's getting possibly pulled. Yeah, I think we got, I think we got a bite here. Yeah. I just gave that a shake, so if we have a fish on, see firsthand that it works. My other line's getting pulled a little bit. All right, what do we got here? We got a we got a whiting. That's a good one. That's a keeper. Yeah, periwinkle clam and salted shrimp. Nice golf kingfish. It's going in the bucket. Seeing a lot of activity out there. Just past where I can reach, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, wow. Yeah, we had that almost go all the way up to the seawall. Can't wait for this tide to go out. It's so high. It was coming up past my cart. Daddy, stop. Yes, thank you. you catch a Great to today. meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm gonna tell my cousin. Well, well, we just got it all the way around. Oh, oh, we're getting pulled here. <laughs> wow. If you stick around, yeah, there's something on here. Yeah. Let's see what we got. It's coming in. Can't tell what it is yet. What do we got? Oh, we've got what? Oh, we've got a. What kind of fish is We've that? got a mangrove snapper. This is this is pretty rare for the surf. And these have to be, uh, I believe, 10 inches to the 10 inches length to keep. Okay. But that's a, this is a good fish to eat, too. It looks like a good mangrove, though. Look at that. Woo! I've not caught one of these in a while. Okay, buddy, let go. He's <laughs> not opening his mouth. Wow, beautiful fish. I didn't expect him. Wow, look at that. It's so pretty. 10 and a half inches. Wow, really pretty fish. Getting pulled. That was a good hit. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Starting to get fun. Tide turn around. We got outgoing tide. Ah, whatever it is popped off. I can see our lady from our group down there with her son fishing. So I didn't expect her to go so far away, but maybe she sees a good cut down there. There's some good structure there. Okay, this one was acting funny and I'm feeling fish on there, so. Finally. We 
eat some fish actually, not seaweed. Oh yeah, this is pulling. Here we go. Yep, it's a whiting. It's a decent one though, I think. Yeah, that's a decent one. We'll keep them. Pink. I didn't think pink would work today, but pink fishing girl float rig. And what did I have on there? Salted shrimp, of course. Dude, let go. This is right through the bottom of your jaw. He really hammers it. They really nail it when it's got the float on there. They really want this thing. I think it was pink shrimp. There's pink coming out of his mouth. Yeah, I think it was pink shrimp. So, all right, buddy. I would think it's a little too rough to be doing jet skis in the surf today. They're gonna be going right over some of my lines. Scaring the crap out of the fish. Hey, bird. Didn't think you could do jet skiing. Yeah, they're literally gonna be going right over my lines. Serious? They pull one of my poles in the water, I'm not gonna be very happy. Literally went right over my lines. I'm just gonna keep this going. Just never know what can happen. He's only looking at the waves. He's not paying any attention to my lines. Now we know they're allowed to be out there. They just dropped this sign off. So I'm gonna kind of just move my, the lifeguard guy said that I didn't have to move. He, he wasn't gonna tell me to move, but told me to keep doing my thing, but I'll go ahead and move. I don't wanna have any damage to my stuff just because of those people. So I'm just gonna cast even closer to the shipwreck. I think I feel fish on this. This is the one I just threw out here near the shipwreck. And I really hope this pelican isn't trying to steal my fish. You know, make good footage, but... Fred, you better stay away from my fish. Oh, I think I do have a fish. I do have a fish. Fred? Oh, I have a pompano. I... I don't think it's a keep. I have double. Oh, we might be staying. I got a pompano and a whiting. That is a nice whiting. Woo, pompano. Let's get this guy off first. He's going in the bucket. That's a nice size whiting. Fred, these are not your fish. These are my fish. Silver rig, fishing girl silver rig. I can tell he's not a keeper, but we're just gonna see how, let's see what he measures up at. Oh, actually like eight and a half. We'll get a little selfie with him and send him back. All right, buddy, you get to go home. Beautiful little fish though, look at him. I love the yellow, bright yellow colors when they, Come out of the river is what I've heard a lot of people say. Here he goes. Heading off. There he are. Yep. See him. Nice. There he is. Right here. Go on out, buddy. He's right down there. See him? Let's see if you can see him now. I don't see him, he's off. Yay! Okay, so I had this redfish rig. The sinker was completely stuck. I kept coming back to it. I had my gloves on just to get it loosened up. And then come to find out, it's got a whiting on it. Who would have guessed? <laughs> I just thought I finally got it loosened up. I thought I was gonna lose the whole rig and everything. And this little guy's on there. Cool. I keep having whiting biting on my redfish rig, and I've never thought a whiting would bite on a six-aught hook. But I guess they really wanted the, I don't think they're eating the mullet. I think they had the fish bites. Dude, okay, okay. 
is really hooked. There we go. Just gonna throw him in the bucket too. Okay, last line in. It is 11.40. have anything on here. Yeah, I've had some good fishing today, so I can't complain as much as I want to throw it back out. Let me throw it out one more time. Hang on guys, let's see if I can get you a buddy. Last cast on the fishing girl rod. I had to switch my battery out, but I believe, yeah, we have a fish on there. And then I remembered that my battery was dead. <laughs> And yeah, we got something here. I can't tell what it is, doesn't look big. There is seaweed, so it could just be seaweed. I really hope it's not just seaweed. Nope, nada. As much as I wanna throw it back out, I have to go. Well, we're all packed up and ready to go. Thank you for watching. If you watched this far, thank you so much. You're one of the few who makes it all the way to the end, but keep watching because there's gonna be something funny at the end that we always put as an end credit scene to reward you guys who watch all the way through. Caught that uh, mangrove snapper. Very cool for me. I have not caught a mangrove snapper on the beach for quite a long time. It's been a, at least a year, if not more. I've only caught them inshore. So. But we got a cooler full of whiting. We've got that mangrove snapper. Now I'm gonna take it to the bait shop and we're gonna get it weighed in and head home. So I'm hungry. So as always, tight lines, God bless, and we'll see ya. was able to navigate my lines because for the most part I've got high visibility line. Don't have high visibility line. Birds are not going to see your line. <laughs> 